Foundational to everything that we will do in this course is your ability to distinguish between levels of measurement. You need to be able to distinguish nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio level data. I want to review for you the levels of measurement, how they relate to one another, and put all of these pieces together. It's all about the level of measurement of your data. We began with categorical data, which we also called qualitative data, because we create categories or groupings based upon some quality of the variable. We can use numbers to create categories, such as number one equals experimental group and zero equals control group. This is a nominal level. Or the category can be first place finishers, such as winners of the Kentucky Derby or Daytona 500 races, which would be ordinal level data. However, because we are simply creating categories, we do not need to use numbers. We could use non-numeric data instead. Nominal data could use the words experimental and control in the data set, or even rely on pictures, symbols, or colors to indicate differences between the groups. Ordinal data could distinguish between gold, silver, and bronze finishers in the Olympics. And we could easily convert our non-numeric data into numbers if we needed to, such as one equals gold, two equals silver, and three equals bronze. Another way that we could use data is to allow the numbers to do what numbers do best, quantify or count. These data will contain some underlying scale, such as distance or time or amount. The scale is continuous and the data are quantifying or measuring something. Continuous data must be numeric. We cannot quantify pictures or do math with colors, only numbers. The two types of continuous data, interval and ratio, are very similar to each other. And in fact, they do the same job. Interval level data are built on a scale with equal intervals. Ratio level data are built on a scale with equal intervals, except unlike interval, ratio data have an absolute zero as a starting point. Both interval and ratio level data are what we call scale level data. And we will use both of them in the same way in our analyses. Once you understand this, you have a firm foundation upon which we will build our statistical skill set. You will need to distinguish between levels of measurement when you choose a measure of central tendency, or when you choose a measure of variability, or when you decide what kind of graph or chart you want to create. And eventually, we will use levels of measurement to make choices about hypothesis tests that we use to analyze our data.